Good morning, everyone. In today's webinar, we will see a quick review of JALTES AGV, our specific module for agricultural vehicles, and checking the most relevant features this tool is able to offer us. So this is how the main menu looks. As you can see, we can connect to not only tractors, but also all kinds of harvesters, sprayers, combines, and all of the self-propelled and trailing implements. Let's connect to a tractor. 50 brands are covered for tractors in Jaltest. Here on the right, I have those brands and I have selected as my favorites and we have the option to search by family, by model name, or by system. Here I have New Holland, Kubota. So let's connect to a John Deere for instance. Once we choose the model, we will see all the electronic systems present in our tractor. The best way to have a full perspective of our tractor is by clicking on all system scan. But first, if you don't find the place to hook up your connector, we will show you how to do it. Now we are ready to scan our tractor. Jalta software is now detecting all the electronic systems present in our tractor. Everything is interrelated within the program and it's important to know that the technical information is embedded in the system. This all system scan detects all of the brands, models, systems of your vehicle. It will be a really quick process, even faster than some of the OEMs. Once it's finished, we will see not only the engine, transmission, or hydraulics, but also the radio, GPS, or even the air conditioning, if it's electronic, of course. On the left, we can see some of the menus that we will access in a minute, such as wiring diagrams or maintenance data, to make sure our tractor is in good shape. The technical data to see the tightening torques and troubleshooting by symptoms it's very useful to have this step-by-step -step guide to fix the symptoms we have. And finally, we have releases and procedures. There are technical releases that we can print screenshots or read on the screen. Okay, now our system scan is completed. We have detected 26 systems. If I collapse it, we can see all of the systems. Let's connect to the engine, for instance. When I click, when I click on the fault codes, if they're in red, it means these fault codes are active in our electronic control unit. Then we can see the original manufacturer fault code name, the number of times it happened in our tractor, and then a brief description of our fault code. If I click on the eye, we will see freeze frame data, which is very useful. We also have the component related to this fault code. In this case, it's a temperature sensor. Okay, if I click here, we will see a picture of the location of our component, some of the resistance values and pinouts. And also, just by one click, we'll have access to the wiring diagrams, as simple as that. Now we are accessing the wiring diagrams. Here is the damage sensor of the fault code we had. It is highlighted in a different color and we can see how it's connected to the electronic control unit. By clicking in the middle, we'll see our electronic control unit, how it looks, the power supply, and the pinout. So if you need to replace a component, you will see all the information you need. We also have this search bar to make it easier. Let's go back to our diagnostic menu. 
Joltus is much more than a fault code reader, and one of the reasons is this. The troubleshooting by fault code, you will see not only the fault code, but also a way to fix that. The troubleshooting by fault code is a step-by-step -step guide that will guide us through the process to fix that fault code. Just by allowing these steps and performing the actions we are required to. So we can expand all these steps, collapse them, make it bigger, or reduce the size. Once we are following these steps, we just put in green to know if we were able to perform this action. This is our diagnostic menu again. We just saw the fault codes after we have fixed them, following the troubleshooting guides will allow us to clear them. Let's see some of the actions that we can perform in this engine. First of all, we have some component actuations, such as the EGR valve or the fuel feed pump. Then we have some system checks, the compression test, cylinder cutout. Let's click, for example, in the cylinder cutout. In every action, we will have the same structure. First, a description of the process, then the initial conditions we need to meet for being able to perform a calibration or whatever we are doing in our tractor. Finally, after those conditions are met, we will have the action we are going to perform. In this case, a cylinder cutout. For this action, it is very interesting to see the graph. Then we have a monitoring menu. Where we can Here we can display the system. First, we will see the fuel system. As you can see, using the software is very intuitive. Navigating the menus is simple. This is our diagnostic menu again. We just saw the fault codes. After we have fixed them, following the troubleshooting guides will allow us to clear them. Let's see some of the actions we can perform in this engine. First of all, we have some component actuations, such as the EGR valve or the fuel feed pump. Then we have some system checks, the compression test, and cylinder cutout. Let's click, for example, in the cylinder cutout. In every action, we will have the same structure. First, a description of the process, then the initial conditions we need to meet for being able to perform a calibration or whatever we are doing in our tractor. Finally, after those conditions, if we meet them, we will have the actions we are going to perform. In this case, a cylinder cutout. For this action, it is very interesting to see the graph. Then we have the monitoring menu where we can display the system with live data. First, we will see the fuel system. As you can see, using the software is very intuitive. Navigating the menu is simple. If we go to the second page, here we have the after treatment module. And then by clicking on the specific live data, we can select those measurements we were interested in. Imagine we want to check some pressures and temperature values. Once we select the measurements, we can, we can graph them, make it bigger, smaller. We can also watch it as an interactive view 
and create our own group of measures. It will help us to save some time. It doesn't matter if we disconnect from the electronic control unit. Next time we connect, we will have saved our customized group of measurements. Here in parameters, we have the injector exchange or injector coding among others. The injector coding is very important because after we change a part, we need to code or tell the software the new injector's name to make it work. Then in maintenance, we can perform a regen. For John Deere, we have two regenerations. One is running under service mode, which will be a little bit longer than the regular one, around three hours. Then we have calibration, in this case of the EGR. Finally, we have data recorder, which is very useful for on-road test. We can choose up to 24 measurements and then it's going to be recording up to 30 minutes. Afterwards, if we want to check the recording, it will be available in preferences, data player, and it will be just like a YouTube video. Once we have seen the diagnostic menu for this engine, we see what we have on the left. First, we will see the system technical data, which is basically related with all of the components of our engine for this John Deere. Here, we have pictures of our components, different resistance values and voltages. Then we have the diagram that we just saw before when we were checking the fault code. We can see everything is embedded in the system so we can access the wiring diagram from different menus. In maintenance data, we choose our ending type and we will have some of the most common maintenance services that we need to perform in our tractor. For example, an interval time of 1,250 hours is what we need to do. We can add comments and create our reports, not just diagnostic reports, but also maintenance reports. Imagine you have a client. Here you can put your logo and customize it as you want. Let's see what we have in technical data. For this option, we will require to have internet connection. A cell phone working as a hotspot is more than enough to make it work. If you have Wi-Fi, it is also perfect. Imagine you want to check the tightening torques of the cylinder head. You will see exactly how to do it. The order and also the stages. There's a bunch of information here and technical data about the engine distribution, cooling system, and lubrication. Troubleshooting by symptoms. Where there is a mechanical problem, sometimes there is a fault code. Sometimes we only have a symptom in the vehicle or maybe we have both. If there is a symptom, we just need to come here and search for the symptom our vehicle has and double click on it. We will have a step-by-step -step guide. We just need to follow to fix that specific symptom. Here in Joltus, it is a very straightforward process if you have a fault code or a symptom. If I disconnect from this system, we have all these other menus on the center. Main system scan to see the engine, transmission, or hydraulics, then some special functions. If we want to search by name of the specific action instead of connecting to the system, let's say we are looking for a compression test. It will save us some time. 
Then we have some maintenance resets and finally manual diagnostics. Imagine the tractor is in the middle of the field and the fault code shows up in the screen. From the shop, without being connected to the tractor, we can check for the fault code, see what it is, the component related to this fault code, and even the troubleshooting. Okay, for this specific fault code, it is about the oil pressure sensor. So I can tell the guy on the tractor what's going on. I'm going to disconnect from this tractor. So once we have seen an overview of this model, let's see other important menus we have in gel test. One of them is GRP. GRP means Garage Resource Planning, and it is a management tool within the program. This is included for free, and it will allow us to have full control of our shop. First of all, here we can access all of the reports. Here is where every report is saved, our diagnostic reports and our maintenance reports. No matter if we forget which specific maintenance we did to the tractor a month ago, because we cannot find the papers at the office, we will have access to that information here. Then we have the vehicle list. We can import an Excel or PDF with the details of a new vehicle that comes into our shop. Then we also have a list of customers. Here we can link a customer to a vehicle. If we have a big fleet, Having all of this information here is very helpful because we can share it with different locations of our company. Another important option is jaw test feedback. You know that every three to four months we have an update, three updates per year, with which includes new systems, new functionalities, and new models that appear in the market. One of the best ways we improve our software is by knowing what you guys think and your comments are taken into account very seriously to improve our software. So if you're missing anything, any calibrations, features, let us know and our engineering department will work side by side to include your request on the next update. Then we have remote assistance. Our customer support is available from 8.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and we are even able to remote into your laptop and guide you through the process. If you have any kind of issues, here you have our contact details. And finally, the jaw test videos. We are including a bunch of new vlogs and webinars to help you be the best technician. You can check all of these videos in our YouTube channel as well. So this has been everything today. Thank you very much for being here and see you next time, guys.